Hi. Now, data science and analytics has increasingly become one of the most sought-after careers, and I'm sure some of you have considered a master's in business analytics as a possible program. In this video, I'm going to make a case for why studying the master's in business analytics in Canada is actually a good idea, and I will also talk about the top universities to do so. My name is Anand Venkateshan. I'm the founder of MentorsCapital.com. We are a mentorship, networking, and admissions consulting firm. We connect students with mentors across the globe and believe that these discussions will help students make better and more informed choices. All right, let's get started with our agenda today, which is to talk about the MBAN or Masters in Business Analytics. Well. To begin with, the Masters in Business Analytics is a postgraduate program which is typically suited to students coming from engineering, math, uh, even, even physics or economics, uh, or even business courses like BCom Honors and so on and so forth. So basically, the idea is that you need to showcase at least one business, one skill suited to the program, which is either in the at the end of technology. Uh, and software, or at the other end, which is business and statistics, right? So, so either of those, uh, either of those skills are considered important at the intake stage. What the program does is that it fosters in you a strong understanding of math and statistics, as well as quantitative techniques. It supplements that with core understanding of business and management techniques, and finally makes use of technology to both uh, aggregate information as well as you know derive insights on the same and finally lead to better decision making right so that's what a business analytics program does i want to also quickly tell you about some highlights of studying business analytics from canada well i think the most attractive thing for any aspirant looking to study abroad is the placement rate and no surprises that the 100% placement rate which is boasted by you know the top universities in Canada will really make my case stronger right so do consider applying to Canada it's one of the really better places to consider a program or postgraduate study in business analytics the other attractive facet of studying in Canada is the fact that they have tuition uh, uh, rates which are uh, tuition fee, which is at the lower end of the spectrum, right? So an average cost of around fifty-five thousand Canadian dollars, which roughly works to works out to about 35, 35 lakh rupees in India, Indian rupees, uh, is actually quite reasonable when you consider that you are going to study as an international student, right? And it also sort of compares, uh, you know, quite favorably with the one-year MBA program cost in even in India. Right, so so, I think by all practical purposes, it's a program suited uh, for entry level graduates who are looking to make a mark in the field of data science and analytics. Now, I'm going to quickly, you know, in this section, talk about the top universities, top programs uh, offered by offered by universities in Canada, and and obviously a consideration has been, you know, given to the rankings uh, that the university and the particular school hold. Also, the you know overall return of investment and hence take into account you know the placement statistics as well as the program cost and finally it's also important to understand you know the program requirements so these are facets which have been considered and presented for you right the first university and probably the top university to study uh, you know business analytics from canada is mcgill university in fact the desotel school of management at mcgill university offers the masters in business analytics right the program itself is a one year program it's considered uh, you know the number one uh, program in canada and also ranked quite favorably at a worldwide global level now the one of the reasons why this is a, such a top top ranked program is the fact that uh, not only does it give you uh, you know good uh, you know course structure and you know of choice of electives but also 
the program is very very experiential which means that not only do they make you study in class but they also make you apply what you learn in class in the real business world right so a business problem is presented and you collaborate with industry to solve that problem to find come up with a database solution to the problem at hand right and and that i think is one of the clinchers because uh, you know it gives you a practical understanding of what the industry needs and collaborate with them as well as showcase your ability to prospective employers the eligibility of the uh, program offered by uh, desotels is fairly straightforward three year graduate degrees are indeed considered are indeed accepted by mcgill um, no mandatory requirement as far as work experience goes but uh, gre or the gmat score is a mandatory requirement which means you have to take the standardized test before applying um and as far as tuition fee goes this is at sitting at the average uh, program fee you know not just in canada but across the world which is about 55000 canadian dollars that works out to around 33 34 lakh in indian rupees remember this is just the tuition fee so uh, factor in another 10 or lakhs uh, which would be your living expenses for the entire year as what you would pay towards the cost of education the second university i would recommend you consider uh, quite seriously is the university of toronto right now you toronto is actually one of the top ranked universities in canada for pretty much most programs uh, and it's ranked uh, you know second in canada for the business analytics program the rotman school which offers the uh, the mban business analytics program is uh, one of the top schools in canada and and the mma program offered by uh the disorder school is a 11 month program which uh is quite similar in in structure to the one offered by the uh, disorders uh here uh there you know just like disorders offers an experiential learning where you do a project with you know industry collaboration here too uh you know you will do a project uh, you will do uh, a life project uh, which is which is supported by industry right and and quite similar to the sortles uh, the rotman school of management also of boasts of 100% employment record within the first 6 months of completion of, pro of the program right so that's definitely a win win uh, if you are an international applicant um eligibility wise it's a little different uh, now rotman does not accept a 3 year undergraduate program so that could be a problem for some of you out there uh, and and since you know these this is one of the top programs in the world the eligibility itself says a mid b grade uh, gpa in uh, your undergraduate degree which roughly translates to about 75% but uh, i should think that showing that kind of uh, proficiency of above the average mark is is kind of important is kind of imperative and and not just in your overall program but also in the areas of quant statistics and programming right so make sure that uh you know those numbers are high if you are in college then make sure that you try and score well in those areas and uh finally one of the requirements is also the uh, a good gre gmat score the average number that uh, rotman uh, sort of puts up on their website is out 710 um so pretty competitive as far as gmat scores go and in terms of cost this is also one of the most costly masters uh, uh, programs analytics programs in the country uh ranging uh, you know as high as 72 73000 canadian dollars which roughly translates into about 45 lakh rupees right so so that's uh the tuition cost of the program not the cost of education so all put together toronto while it boasts of you know a top rank and 100% employment record it can be a little expensive and it also requires a four year undergraduate degree which brings us to number 3 on our list which is the ubc's sauda school of management right and and ubc is one of those uh, universities which again feature in the top 5 uh, colleges in canada universities in canada for pretty much any program that you could be applying for located in vancouver british columbia which is also one of the business hubs uh, in canada uh, the ubc is a well renowned university and and offers a masters of business analytics which is a 12 month program right uh now the basics of the program i would really encourage you to go and check out on their website but uh you know the good news is that sauder accepts three year undergraduate degrees as well although uh you do need to showcase your proficiency academic proficiency by uh by by at least having a 8 out of 10 gpa 
uh, work X is not a mandatory requirement, but a uh, test standardized test score uh, such as GRE or GMAT is required. Uh, the average cost of you know tuition at the Saudi School of Business is again slightly more than the average. It works out around to around sixty three thousand Canadian dollars, which uh, you know which banks close to around forty lakh Indian rupees, right? But all you know, all things considered, Souther is still a school that you should prefer to apply in case analytics is indeed your forte, uh, and and do. Uh, you know, consider applying there also because they have a, a, a computer vision and innovation lab that you can definitely, uh, you know, collaborate with on projects and on, on, on live projects as well as, uh, you know, thesis work. Uh, the last university I want to take a look at is the HEC Montreal, uh, you know, backed by the HEC Paris brand. Uh, Montreal campus of HEC is also growing leaps and bounds. The uh, master's uh, in analytics program here is slightly different. It's uh, called the MSc program in data science and business analytics, which means the program uh, on the at the onset sort of has a greater focus on data than on business. Uh, so that's something that you should be definitely careful about. Uh, this is a slightly longer program than usual, which means it can go from 16 to 24 months, depending on, you know, internships and other thesis work that you could uh, in, in, enter into. Um, and in terms of eligibility, well, um, that's quite straightforward. An undergraduate degree with at least a 60% score in uh, your undergraduate education, uh, along with a standardized test score, GRE or a GMAT score of, you know, close to 700 is something that you would need to apply to HEC Par, HEC Montreal. Now, the tuition fee, though, uh, is at the bottom of the spectrum. It's around 35,000 Canadian dollars, which... Uh, roughly works out to around 20 lakh Indian rupees, and and this probably makes uh, the HEC uh, Montreal course uh, a really preferred one. Although you might want to consider that HEC Montreal is based out of Quebec, which is the French-speaking, uh, you know, part of Canada, uh, and, and so most of the hiring and uh, internship work requires a working understanding of French, right? So if you are applying to HEC, then consider doing a preparatory course in speaking French and understanding French, because that will make you, uh, you know, employable and boost your chances of getting a job early, right? So these were the top four analytics programs in Canada. If you're uh, looking to apply, uh, apply early in the fall term. Uh, well, most of these will have early rounds, uh, which, which uh, extend up till October. Applying early is probably a good idea because it allows you to uh, then arrange for other, uh, you know, arrange for other things such as even learning the language or even making sure that your finances are in place. Uh, well, now that my agenda is done, I'm going to take a couple of minutes and also tell you a little bit about what we at Mentors Capital do. Like the name suggests, we believe in the power of mentorship, right? Uh, somebody who's gone there, uh, been there and done that is surely going to give you some practical advice on uh, you know, on the application journey that will surely make your, uh, you know, process more efficient and effective. Uh, well, how it works is fairly straightforward. We have a network of mentors on our platform. Uh, you can either directly select a mentor and request for uh, a one-on-one -on -one, uh, mentorship session with them. Alternatively, you can contact us uh, and, and we shall find a mentor to suit your requirement, basis, your profile, uh, and so on and so forth, and make sure that you know, all your queries do get answered in that call. Um, our services, though, are pretty comprehensive. Uh, you know, we we, uh, we can start as early as the test preparation stage, uh, you know, help you get uh, a really good GRE or a GMAT or an SAT score uh, and, and use that to uh, form up a list of schools that you would apply to uh, that, that suit your requirements as well as your profile. And finally, we also put, can put together, you know, a really, really impactful application that includes, you know, the essays, SOPs, uh, letters of recommendation, and also scholarship essays uh, that not just get you into your dream school, but also make your return on investment high. Right? So that's what we do. Uh, do write to me if uh, you have any further queries that you'd like me to answer. You can also, you know, text us on WhatsApp at the number shown on your screen. Clicking in the link below will also take you to our registration page. In case you want a free profile evaluation or 
are looking to try out one of our GRE or GMAT sessions, do click the link in the description uh, for this video, right? If you aren't already subscribed, do consider subscribing to our channel. More such videos uh, will pop up every week and, and hopefully uh, help you make better and smarter decisions every single time. Thank you. Have a great day and wish you all the very best.